Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to migrate from Thai to .NET Aspire. This is the part 14 of uh, .NET microservice with ABP. When I initially started this uh, series, um, the only option I have available was uh, Thai. But if you go to the Thai repository now, it has been marked as archived uh, since November 2020 and then Microsoft has officially said this project has been abandoned and uh, they notified everybody to move to uh, Aspire and that's what you're gonna do. Uh, if you're new to .NET Aspire or never heard of .NET Aspire, I would recommend you to visit the .NET Aspire documentation. And there are quite a few YouTube videos online. And also there is an explanation in ABP community post. So I'm not going to cover what Aspire is. We are just going to see how to migrate uh, the microservice uh, solution I have um, and then uh, integrate Aspire and then remove the tie and then get it working. So make sure you update the workload and install the .NET Aspire workload. And then uh, you can list to see if all the workloads are installed. Uh, if you have installed, then you would have received uh this command this is uh the aspire app post command and then the other one is aspire service default command these are both uh, .NET new templates uh, which are available with aspire and we are going to use these two templates because we already have an existing application there is also a starter template available if you want to use that you can use that but since i already have my application available i'm gonna use the .NET new templates. Okay, as you can see, I created a new branch in my ABP microservice project, and we are going to uh, follow the blog post and then all the commands which are required for the uh, migration is available. The first is to create the Aspire project, which is the app host project, and then we create the uh, service default project. So once both of these are uh, created so you can come you can see that i'm creating the app post project in the root and it's an empty uh, project right now and then the service defaults are inside the uh, shared folder now the, these two commands are to add the uh, newly created project to the solution uh, so just copy and paste them they're just going to work. And then the next is to update the uh, hosting dot shared uh, with service defaults because the hosting is added to uh, hosting dot shared is added to all the microservice hosts so that we don't have to add another uh, service to so another reference here. We just add it to the hosting dot shared and um, it should just work. Okay. And then next is that we are going to get all the host projects and then add the host project to the app host project. See, we have referenced uh, administration, identity, project, and SAS uh, in the apps um, in the app host. So you can come and then see um, here all the projects are referenced. Uh, so and the next is that uh, we have to get the service host. Sorry, uh, now we have to go and get all the apps, uh, all the projects inside the apps folder and then uh, add it to the app host. And then we have to uh, do the same for the service defaults. Now uh, we have to add the gateway because uh, the gateway is available in a separate folder and um, add the reference for the gateway as well. Okay, now this is the um, code which adds the service defaults to your application so builder dot um, add service defaults make sure you go to each and every project so if you have a, a, in the auth server go to program.cs file um, and then add it um, after the builder so builder dot add service defaults uh, technically this should uh, you don't have to add it to the blazor project uh, uh, but uh, for this blazor server uh, add it and you have to do it to the gateway as well. Um, and the next is uh, the services. You go and then add it in the program. 
this is the administration service and next is the identity service go and add it in the host and the project okay so we have a sas project um so we have added all the we have added uh, the service default to all the um, hosts i hope um that's right and now we have to update the app configuration inside the um uh, app host so if you come to the app host you'll see that uh this is empty just uh copy this and then paste it here uh, uh so what does it do so it takes it just adds the auth server uh with the name and then it chooses the auth profile yeah so we have a launch profile for the auth server you come here and then if you go to apps auth server uh properties and launch profile you can see this is the launch profile uh and this is the launch profile we are going to use and then the launch profile has an application url which is um 7600 and this is what which will be used by the aspire host and it's the same for all the other applications so uh you can go to each and every application um you will see a profile you know let's go to gateway a launch settings and then you have profiles in this profile i have a tasky.gateway profile and this is what i'm using there's also iss profile uh you can use that make sure you have application url properly configured so that's how aspire works it's pretty easy to set up and um, now uh, once we have everything set up uh let's run let's build the project first uh, .NET build okay it's, if we have a problem in the program.cs uh let's check what is the problem here okay i see the problem here is that uh there is no reference to um host dot shared i will take it from the other project mm, yeah yeah so this project reference is missing oh i'll build again task key dot blazer okay the blazer project should not uh, have so can come down yeah the blazer project should not have this uh reference okay that's these are two mistakes okay let's go back okay uh the project is built and then now do uh dot net run uh app host launch profile does not tasky dot project dot profile tasky dot project host what is the project so we can go to the service project properties launch profile what does the launch profile say uh, okay the launch profile says demo it's the host okay these are the mistakes let's run it again we have another error which says blazer server dot run run message blazer server profile okay let's go to blazer server project apps blazer server properties launch profile and in the launch profile okay so we have a string instead of yeah now this is this should be a boolean but instead it was a string that's what uh, the error says okay now we have our latch uh dashboard running yes uh let's see if the gateway is working yeah the gateway is working and uh if i go inside the gateway do i see the logs yes i do see the logs and i can see the metrics uh do i see the metrics for the gateway uh mm. Oh, yeah okay that is the duration of the request okay um yeah now our aspire dashboard is working we can see um, the resources we can see the structured logs we can see the traces and we can see all the resources this can be really uh useful if you are running more than i don't know 15 20 microservices you can see everything at the same time and the uh, logs and the structured logs and the traces will help during the do local development a lot because you can see that um, if you come to the uh, request you can see the gateway call the administration service and all these things are properly logged uh, in the request and you can just scroll through and find out what happened uh, during that request um, yeah I will make sure to add this uh, part of my template uh, since the migration is already done. All I have to do is check in and then release it as a new template. And when you create a new AVP uh, microservice from this template, you should have Aspire ready inside. Uh, the last um, thing is we just uh, delete all the tied related things. 
um, because Thai is basically this YAML file. Uh, there is no dependencies except the separate um, utility you installed. Um, so we can just come here and delete this file. There is nothing else uh, needed uh, from the application point of view to get rid of Thai. Uh, once you remove the Thai files and then we can start using Aspire. Um, I hope uh, this will be helpful uh, for people moving forward. Um, if you want to add more things to the tie, because right now inside the app host, I'm not um, adding Redis. I'm not adding um, RabbitMQ. I'm not adding Postgres. All these things are required for the microservices to run. And technically, we can add these things here in uh, uh, here and then make these things part of aspire as well i didn't do it because in the tie i never bothered about those things i only cared about to run the um, applications so uh, i thought this will be like a one-to-one -one, uh, migration if you feel like there is another version of this uh, app host where the redis the postgres the database setup all these things should work together let me know i'll make another video uh, with all the other things uh, combined for this video, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, give a thumbs up uh, to this video if you liked it uh, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will uh, see you in another video. Bye-bye.